The project was to implement image processing resolve rates and redundancy resolution to get a robot to draw real world objects. Being inspired by the multitudes of dexterous robots used in industry, we wanted to quasi emulate a robot performing a dexterous task. We also wanted to explore the adaptability of control algorithms on non specialized robots. We assume dexterity to be the kinematic extent over which a manipulator can reach all orientations. The principal hardware available to us was Rethin Robotics as Baxter, a robot with two seven degrees of freedom arms. We set up Baxter to look at an object with his hand camera while gripping a marker with his right arm. The robot and the computer had to obtain an image, process it to get a contour, then draw the contour on a plane using resolve rates while avoiding arm joint limits using redundancy resolution. The resolve rates redundancy resolution equations used are as shown. Open city functions were used for image processing. We designed and 3D printed a spring-loaded gripper for passive interaction control of the marker. These are the two images that we had Baxter draw. This is Baxter drawing the single contour apple after looking at it. The video has been sped up by 6 in X. The circular squiggles occur when the end effector overshoots and Baxter tries to zero in on the missed target point by iteration. These images show the extracted contour and the resulting drawing. Here Baxter is drawing the four contour droid. The control algorithm was optimized to draw a smoother trajectory as compared to when drawing the apple. However, jaggedness in the drawing is still seen because of the spread of points inherent in contours obtained from image processing. Baxter's arm compliance was also an issue. This is the result from our final trial. Lastly, these are the cost function plots for Baxter's arm movement. The cost function magnitude describes how close the joints are to their geometric limits. With redundancy resolution, spikes in the cost function are avoided. Thank you for watching this video.